Hi, this is John Raley, and I want to work for you in the new Senate District 45, which encompasses most of Iowa City and all of University Heights. I'm a self-employed insurance practitioner for 40 years right here in Iowa City. 44 years ago, when I came to Iowa and I drove across the Mississippi, the sign said, Welcome to Iowa, a state of minds. We were number one in education. We're now 20th and we're falling further and further behind. I attended Coe College in Cedar Rapids and after graduation, I was inspired. I had a business and accounting degree. I was inspired by a professor at the university that wrote a book on insurance and risk management, Emmett Vaughn. So I came down to Iowa City and started my insurance business from scratch and have been here for 40 years. Over those years, I've helped clients. I've been signing my name to my work, and if there's a death in the family, I'm delivering that check so they can keep their house, keep the kids in their school. If they have a disability, I'm helping them there. We've seen the struggles from the 1993 floods to the 08, the tornado that ripped through Iowa City, and the recent derecho that happened just recently. I see the struggles. I'm helping people one at a time. And I feel like that's the leadership that we need at the State House. My leadership skills were developed when I was the president of the National Association of Insurance and Financial Advisors. We have over 2,000 members, and they're both Democrat and Republican, urban and rural, and we were able to work together to come up with legislation that helped all Iowans. And some of this legislation was so effective, we were able to take it and make it national legislation. Education, I'm very passionate about. My dad was a uh, junior high principal for 35 years, and my mother was a fifth grade school teacher. Education has been part of my life, and it's lifelong learning. And right now, we're down 17% over the last decade in funding education, and that's not accounting for inflation. We have a great teaching and research hospital and university in which the solution is that the economic impact for every dollar that the state invests, there's a $15 return indirect and direct when we invest in this institution. We've been micromanaging the K through 12 legislation, the issues that have come up that don't need any legislation. We have oversight already. Education needs to turn around. I'm a small business person and it's dear to my heart. 92% of all of our business in Iowa is small business. 80% of that revenue goes to the state of Iowa and it makes up a large portion of our revenue. I'm seeing that small business is being left behind. With this pandemic recently, we're seeing the workage shortage, we're seeing people that were not able to get any federal funds or didn't apply for them and they were left behind. We need to do a better job of supporting our current small business, but also investing in new businesses coming to Iowa so that they can be part of our community. Immigration, if we look at the census, we grew 150,000 people in the last 10 years. 44% are immigrants and refugees. We need to do a better job. They have brought their families, they're in our community, they're in our schools, and we need to do a better job of outreach to bring them up so that we understand their culture, so that we can help them invest in their lives with some of the struggles that they're having with housing, childcare, and the barriers. We can do this. There's many issues. I'm proud of my roots. I'm proud of my family. I'm proud of the work that I do. We have some of the smartest people in Iowa City. And I think with all the talent that we have here, we can rally everybody together with good leadership and make the changes that need to happen. With the recent legislation with uh, the Supreme Court, we need to be vigilant in making sure that we protect women's rights. I'm John Raley, I'll be at the Farmer's Market, and I hope to see you there, and I would appreciate your vote. Thank you.